Comrades can become friends, but friends can't always become comrades. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and uh, I've been thinking about this for a couple weeks now. I put a video out a couple weeks ago talking about a framework for how to build Minuteman teams. And if you haven't seen that video, that's kind of part one in this made up series that I'm starting right now. And so you should go back and watch that. However, uh, off of that and, and prior to that, I have been thinking about this idea of comrades versus friends. And we live in a time in history when uh, the government will you know, collapse over time. Either that's gonna be a real sharp time where everything just crumples at once, or it's gonna be kind of a long, slow, you know, decreasing of uh, services, shall we say, de decreasing of control. And we live in a dying empire. And so knowing that, and knowing where history is likely to go, given how other things have gone similar in history like this before, what what do you need to be doing? And I think one of those things is you need to have you need to have friends, or in this case, I'm going to say comrades. Uh, you need to have people that are like-minded, thinking the same way about the world, and want to survive the next 30, 40, 50 years as we understand that things are going to get worse and worse. And I don't necessarily mean worse and worse like civil war, although hey, you know that's always on the table because the country's you know boiling point on several different things. But like if the dollar collapsed tomorrow, right? Which hey, not outside of reality, uh, who is going to help you survive through the next three weeks, three years, right? How are you going to make it through that? And the people that you will have in that and then that will help you through that, you may or may not be friends with. And, and so here's what I mean. When we go out and we're looking to build teams, again, go back to the first video, but when we're looking to build teams, I think we need to look for people that are we have like-minded, shoulder-to-shoulder vision with more than people that we just get along with. Now, the good news is often in life, friendships, right? Oh, okay. Often in life, when you're like that, you become friends because friendships are built on mutual interests. Common vision, mutual interests, that's how at least male friendships work. I don't know how female friendships work. I'm not a girl. Uh, so when we have male friendships, we're, we're built on common vision and direction. It's how bros work, okay? We both have an interest in this thing, whether it's something as uh, mundane or pedestrian as cars, or whether, I don't like cars, uh, or whether it's something you know high and lofty like not dying. We, we all have, com when we have common interests, right, we're able to build friendships. And so I would tell you that look for people who understand the world the same way you do, and whether or not they have weird personality quirks, or you get along, or they're a lot of fun, or whatever, it's kind of secondary. Overall, yeah, hopefully we'll all become friends, right? But the main thing we all need in order to make it are comrades and not necessarily friends. I think that a lot of us, you know, we, we get into this and we start to think, oh, you know, I need to recruit my friends. Not a bad, not a bad idea, all right? However, then, you know, you always have some friends who aren't interested or maybe only one is interested, which is more often the case, right? And most aren't. And then, yeah, that's kind of weird. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of far out there, blah, blah, blah. And I would think at that point, that's where we need to expand our pool, right? And we need to recruit people and be around people who share that common vision and not people necessarily who you just get along with. And like I said, hopefully over time, those groups will continue to overlap, but I don't think we should look for that or plan for that or be like, none of my friends wanna do this, so I'm stuck, right? And I don't know what to do now. That's not necessarily what we wanna do. When you find people who have a common vision of how the world's going and they have a common plan with you of how they'd like to prepare to not die, uh, and that's stuff as simple as like, you know, getting food from a local farmer, right? Or getting your raw milk delivered to your house or knowing someone who has chickens, right? Like it's all, again, go back to the first video with the three tiers. But as long as we have that common vision in place, that's someone you want in your network, that's someone you want on your team, that's someone you want to be in with, right? So. I hope that helps because I think that often we can get stuck on this idea of, oh, I checked with all my friends and none of them are interested, so I have no one to hang out with. And I would say that's a thousand percent not true. What you have is an opportunity to meet some comrades and hopefully develop some new friendships. Do brave deeds.